Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we have something pretty quick to talk about in the world of iOS as well as jailbreaking. And of course, don't forget about my all new iPad Pro giveaway. I will have it linked for you right now in the cards. Check it out either after this video or right now to win a brand new 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Today, yes, you may have guessed it, Apple has released another beta iteration of iOS 9.3.2 to the general public, which of course is the next upcoming iOS release. This is probably probably going to be one of the last iOS updates before we see iOS 10, which will be unveiled to the masses at WWDC this June. So let's open up Apple's developer portal here on Safari, which is partially accessible without having to sign in. As you can see, we have iOS 9.3.2 beta 4. And for the post date, when we scroll down a little bit, it is today's date, May 3rd, 2016. Of course, this is the first iOS release beta or otherwise to happen in May. So happy May, right guys? Well, let's first of all talk about iOS 9.3.2 in general before we delve into jailbreaking. And by delve, I mean briefly cover what this actually means for jailbreaking because this isn't going to be an extraordinarily long video. In fact, I'm trying to make this one quicker. If you guys wanna skip ahead past this part down below in the more info, there will actually be a table of contents. Now, iOS 9.3.2 will really only offer two things, essentially a fix for a long-standing Game Center bug that has existed inside of iOS 9 and said bug would essentially cause Game Center to crash and certain Game Center components to all applications that utilized it to crash if the user was experiencing that complication to begin with. Now it also allows individuals to toggle both night shift as well as low power mode simultaneously, which is pretty cool considering while night shift was introduced inside of iOS 9.3 for 64-bit based devices, Essentially, it couldn't be activated alongside low power mode. Now that's been remedied. Once iOS 9.3.2 is out to the public, you will be able to turn on both if you update to said firmware. Let's get into the jailbreaking aspect and talk about why iOS 9.3.2 will even be issued in the first place. Essentially, Apple wants to stabilize iOS 9.3.x. They didn't get it right with iOS 9.3 or 9.3.1. There were still pre-existing issues, most notably that Game Center complication. So we have iOS 9.3.2. There are likely also other changes that are not outward facing, meaning they are kind of under the hood, just some general performance enhancements and updates here and there to get things ready to stop releasing updates for iOS 9. This is probably planned to be the last iOS 9.3.x update unless a jailbreak utility is released, which of course we are counting on. Then we will likely receive a subsequent iteration to patch the jailbreak. Unless of course new bugs are found, then we'll see another iOS 9 update regardless. But Apple doesn't intend for that to be the case. It seems like they're trying to get things right this time with iOS 9.3.2 because as I mentioned, iOS 10 is right around the corner. WWDC will happen this June and Apple will not only unveil iOS 10, but also release the first beta of it. And of course, they probably have the majority of their iOS development team and software engineering focused on said iOS 10 beta right now. So iOS 9 development will start to taper off. It's natural, it happens every single year. The same thing happened last year with iOS 8.4.x. The only reason we got 8.4.1 really was to patch the Taiji jailbreak. So we could expect something very similar to happen this year. Of course, jailbreak developers seem to be waiting on that stabilized version of iOS 9.3.x being 9.3.2, which will hopefully be released to the public soon at this point. We had already expected 9.3.2 to drop, which means it really could happen at any point. In fact, it could happen as early as next week, which of course I'm rooting for. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the cards. There will actually be a really quick poll if you want to partake in that. Now that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to discuss in today's video. Jailbreak developers, as well as Apple, are both trying to get things stabilized. Of course, the former of the two, being jailbreak developers, have to wait for the latter, being Apple, to issue that release before they can release another jailbreak. Break. So if you want additional information on why stabilization is so important other than what I just mentioned, I will actually have a few links for you down below in the more info to some of my past videos, again, going into that exact topic. But this video pretty much sums it up. It's relatively quick and short and condensed. And if your friends are 
are at all confused about what's going on in the world of jailbreaking right now, just be sure to share this video and send it over to them. It'll almost certainly help. Of course, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. That way you won't miss out anytime I release new videos because remember, things are always changing in the world of jailbreaking. And if you want to be updated even more often, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.